Good morning, vloggers. Today is Wednesday, January 23rd. This is the third video, so it's going to be short. I'm on my way to work. Big surprise. Um, yesterday, Tuesday, I had my first vlogging rehearsal for Bye Bye Birdie, and it was so much fun. It was wonderful. Um, I was, like, mostly prepared. The kids were mostly prepared. I mean, we were in this weird sort of place, as we often are. And we just shuffled on through, and, and really, um, I, you know, I, I mean, I have some facility with what to do on a stage and how to make things work. So, that was evident, and at the same time, I mean, I just have these two wonderfully gifted actors that I'm working with, and so, you know, any idea that I had, they would try it, and then if I didn't like it, or I did like it, or they just knew what it was that I wanted, so then it just was so wonderful to see, you know, you have, like, to me, I see images, and so images don't, they evoke feelings. They create mood, but they're not alive, an image, you know? And so to be able to move through these images and to talk about, you know, why are we going here to here and how can we make this more real and what's going to happen and what, what will that be like and, and if your character is wanting this, then what should you be doing and whose attention should you be giving and all of this. And it just, I mean, it all was there. It all was just alive and wonderful. And, and to have moments where it was like, I'm not exactly sure what should happen here. I want you two to go over just this part and just see what you can do to make that become real. And what if maybe moving isn't the right thing. Maybe I've given the wrong blocking. But, but there's something there that's happening at this moment that we need to see. I mean, it's just it's so, so good. So good. It's such a wonderful feeling. So that was my rehearsal process, and I was very pleased with my sister in New York, also an uh, English teacher, drama teacher, director in New York, uh, directing her play and having her first blocking rehearsal for her play yesterday. And, um, you know, because Heath Ledger died yesterday, she um, had, the kids asked her if they could have a moment of silence for him. And I thought, you know, just how sort of heartwarming that was in the idea of, um, us being, um, trying to instill in the children a sort of sense of, uh, community within, uh, theater, whether it's, you know, your own community of actors in a play or, or just even the profession, and that they would, you know, that that would be their reaction, that that's something that they should do, like, that that is, if there were to be a group of people at school who would do such a thing, that that is the group. Um, it's very endearing, really. I love the kids. <clears throat> I love the kids, and I'm just going to have a brief moment about something. They do this Predator show on uh, NBC, and uh, for some reason, because it's on MSNBC in the States all the time, uh, they just replay them and replay them. I'm not exactly sure to what aim. I don't understand how this is entertainment necessarily. Um, I, I, maybe they're trying to get people who would be doing this to rethink it. I, I don't know exactly what the purpose of the show is. It's very odd. But what I do know is that whenever it's on, I'm always fascinated by these people in two ways. One, the idea of the police really entrapping you. But in the other, I mean that these people would be hurting my kids or kids like my kids. And then I start to think about my poor little unknowing girls who are dating these 20-something-year-old boys. And just having an image of wanting to put them all in jail. But I mean, if the kids' parents don't care, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Anyway, these are the thoughts that I have while watching the show, is my poor student. And that these guys are seem so, well, not all of them, but most of them, seem just completely normal. I, I don't get it. I mean, I could understand, like, if somebody was... Rationalize that to yourself. They might be at least a senior in high school, but you know, they, the decoys they use are posing as 13 years old because in California they go to jail longer if they do that. You know, they people only go to jail for like a day. Um, but it's scary that they would go to a 12 year old's house. 
what are they thinking? I, I don't I, ooh, I can't. It's too upsetting. But anyway, those are my thoughts. I'm done. Goodbye.